First breaking news, controversy erupting over Dhoni's appointment as Team India's mentor in the T20 World Cup. The MP, a Cricket Association member, Sanjeev Gupta, saying Supreme Court does not allow such an appointment. Rahul Dravid had to be removed as mentor of Rajasthan Royals, in fact. Boria Majumda joining us on this. Uh, Boria, take us through the, the reasons for that objection just when everyone was starting to rejoice. What is the issue with that post and why do they want him removed? We'll go across to Boria in just a moment, but on your screen, there controversy erupting over Dhoni's appointment as a mentor. Uh, the MP Cricket Association questioning Dhoni's appointment saying that uh, Rahul Dravid also had to be removed uh, from the post of mentor of the Rajasthan Royals. And um, remember, we've had uh, Modi, uh, Dhoni in, roped in to mentor India's T20 World Cup squad. Borya, I was asking you why the controversy erupting. What are they objecting to here with regards to that post? Uh, just when everyone was rejoicing that Dhoni has been roped in, uh, these objections are being brought to the fore. Absolutely, and uh, the reasons are... Uh, firstly, let's put facts on record. India today is in possession of the letter that has been shot off by Sanjeev Gupta okay. uh, from the Madhya Pradesh Cricket Association to every member of the BCCI Apex Council. All of the nine members have been sent the letter. The letter says, MS Dhoni is in conflict of interest. Uh, he is the current captain of the Chennai Super Kings. So he's a current player. A current player who is the captain of the Chennai Super Kings cannot hold a dual role as the mentor of the Indian cricket team because a similar case had arisen with Rahul Dravid. And if that was the case, Rahul Dravid had to leave the Rajasthan Royals. Uh, similarly, similarly, uh, uh, there were cases about sports management associations of MS in the past with VP Sports. He had to quit that. Uh, questions were asked about Sachin, about Saurabh, about VVS, about Harbhajan. And, and multiple times issues of conflict of interest has been raised. But in this case, other questions that have been asked, that if Ravi Shastri, the current head coach, then why is he stopped? Why is he stopped from coaching an IPL team? He can. I mean, MS Dhoni as the current uh, captain of the Chennai Super Kings cannot be part of the Indian setup. By the way, I've spoken to Sanjeev Gupta on the phone uh, and he has sent this letter to all members of the Apex Council. The board hasn't responded yet. The board hasn't said a word on it yet. Uh, in the absence of an ethics officer, the board hasn't yet appointed an ethics officer. He has sent it to all the members of the Apex Council. This is not the end of the story. This is a tricky one. And I've got to tell you, this is a tricky one because according to the Supreme Court mandated Lotha reforms, this is a tricky one. And the board might find itself in a very tricky position. All of us were celebrating MS's position as mentor. But if you go down the Lodha reforms and take a look, questions can be asked. And that is what has happened in the last half an hour. India today is in possession of that letter. I've sent it to you. So you can read it and all our viewers can see it on what grounds he has been questioned. But as I said, current captain of CSK cannot be mentor of uh, the uh, Indian cricket team. That's the ground of question. Okay, what uh, prompted them then, uh, uh, Borya, when clearly that's the rule to go ahead with this? Were they hoping, you know, and I'm asking you to really speculate here, but were they hoping that uh, an exception could be made? Were they looking to override the rule? What would prompt them to, to do this? You know, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you something. Again, you, you were right. You've asked me to speculate, and this is conjecture. I think they were thinking only of the interest of the Indian cricket team in the World Cup. I don't think they went into the nuances. They were clearly, mm -hmm. and, and they were right. In thinking, you know, from their perspective, they were giving Team India the best chance of winning the World Cup. They thought MS is important in the scheme of things. All of us believe the same, and they appointed it. But when you read between the lines, and you actually read the Constitution, and I, that is what I was doing in the last half an hour, after I spoke to Sanjeev Gupta, if you read the board's Constitution, uh, this is a tricky one. That's why I'm saying that if you, if you actually go into the depths of the matter as to what the Supreme Court of the country and there's no better, no bigger authority than the Supreme Court of India. So if you read the Supreme Court mandated reforms, the board finds itself in a tricky spot. What they can do, can they think of appointing MS after the IPL is over? 
can they say that he quits Chennai Super Kings, relinquishes his position, then joins Team India? Is that a possibility? They've got to figure something out. But at this point in time, we've got to wait and see as to what the board says. And that would have just been my next question. So thanks for pointing that out as well, Borea. Uh, we'll come back to you for more on that story.